If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do? If I told you you were beautiful Would you date me on the regular? Tell me would you? Well baby I've been around the world But I ain't seen myself Good morning you guys I'm doing my best to create um, a wellness morning routine for myself. That's one thing that I learned from this girl named Ariel Simone. Follow her on Twitter. She's a holistic nutritionist, now my friend, and I literally just woke up, sorry. I wanted to make sure that I talk to y'all about that. So I wake up in the morning. You should try this too. It, uh, it gives you a phenomenal start to your day when you take like, you wake up early between five and six and you take that portion of your day to um, Spend it in a very whole way. So connecting with you. A lot of times people don't do that. You just wake up in the morning, grab your phone, check Instagram, and then start your day. You don't really know what your body needs, what your mind needs, what your heart needs. Hell, you don't even know if you can walk. But we're programmed now to do that, to just wake up and go. When you need to just be still for a minute. So, obviously I don't normally wake up and start vlogging, but I did want to capture this because I think it's important to have a routine. A routine just for you and your mind and your body and your soul before you go out into this crazy world. Spend a moment with yourself, still in the bed, or you can get up, make a cup of coffee, grab your journal, say some affirmations, uh, write in your journal however you're feeling, meditate as long or as short as you need, ask the universe for whatever you want. You make this a part of your routine. And it's really crazy how things just start to align. It's beautiful. I just really started doing this when I came back from Costa Rica and really sticking to it. Um, and some beautiful things have happened. And when I say beautiful, I mean weird money has started to flow to me. One of my affirmations is money flows to me all of the time. Um, I've been meeting millionaires, you guys. And when I say that, I don't mean in a way where it's like a nigga and I'm trying to take his money, no. I have been me making beautiful friendships with women who are millionaires, who are opening some doors for me that I'm not sure I could open myself. Um. So let's get started. My phone's ringing, but I'm not gonna answer it. I'll go check it after I'm done journaling because I don't want anybody to disrupt it. I don't sleep with my phone in my room anymore because I'm trying, like I said, I'm trying to create a habit of don't just roll over and get on the phone. Don't do that. Some people turn their phones off when they sleep. I don't do that just in case an emergency happens, but I put it in the kitchen.
journal. And your feelings down on paper. And then, and you guys, you do this in your own order. I'm gonna read a book. Right now I'm reading your badass. How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life by Jen Sincero. She has a series of these books and I love them. I read it before, I'm just rereading it. Um, so I'm gonna read, I'm gonna meditate, and then I'm gonna have a coffee, walk my dog. I'm gonna walk my dog first because she's looking at me like I'm crazy. Um, but you, you mix and make your routine how you wanna make it, but make sure that you spend these special hours in the morning doing what you wanna do that doesn't involve your phone or the TV, you guys. You can do that any day, all day if you want. But connect with the universe, your mind and your soul and your heart. See how you're feeling. Check in with yourself. <laughs> I love you guys. Okay, there we go. I don't know why my camera has been looking so dark, but I put it, at first manual was working for me. That's not working no more, so now I have it in, in auto. And now y'all can see me and my outfit. I had to mix up my Ivy part because I uh, lost the top to this set. But I'm headed to Kennesaw Mountain, you guys. It was supposed to be a little date, but the nigga bailed. He's talking about, oh, I gotta take my son to school. And I was just like, see, this is why I don't like dating people with kids. You knew before you bailed that you had to take your child to school. Why did you agree? Um, but I wanted to ask y'all, do you guys, Take a shower before you work out. <laughs> I take a shower before I work out. Like partly because t today I did it because I think I'm gonna go get a wax after I'm done and I just don't want it to, like even though I'm going to work out, at least it's gonna be like fresh sweat and not like just like dirty booty sweat. Y you, you know, if you know the difference, you know. Um, I feel so weird with this beanie on, but I'm just going to keep it on. Okay. First things first, first things first. I, uh, I was about to like freestyle. I don't even know what I was going to say. First things first, I have to stop and get water because I left my refillable water bottle in the car so now I gotta go buy water my brother was telling me about this thing called a I forgot the name of it but it basically is $350 and it's this water carton that you put in your you know you just put in your house you fill it up with water and um, it makes your it filters the water to make it alkaline water. People use rainwater. People use it like when they're hiking. Y'all know my brother really be hiking. Um, I can't remember the name of it. I'm gonna try to remember, and if I do, I'll put it in the description box. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, I'm supposed to be meeting a young man for this Kennesaw Mountain hike. No, I won't say a hike. We going up the mountain. Um, I think I feel like it's like Stone Mountain. I don't know. I've never been, but he decided last night. He didn't really say that he couldn't go. Here's what happened. You know when you're like you have a plan with somebody, then y'all start talking about the plan, and they sound all stressed out, and you're like, I don't like being around people when they're super stressed, because I know how I am when I'm stressed, and I'm a Libra, and I put all the stress on everybody else too, and I hate when I do that. I hate when people do it to me, so it's like, if I'm asking you to do something in your leisure time, and you have said yes, when really you have things you need to be doing, and then when you get with me, you're gonna be all stressed out, and you know, like, upset. I'm good, bro. Like, do do handle your business, do what you need to do, and we'll figure it out later. One thing I'm learning is my happiness is not dependent on yours. So, we said we were going to Kennesaw Mountain. You can't go anymore. I'm still going. Because I'm not going to just not go because you can't go. And he was like, well, you're not going to wait for me. I'm not. Like, I'm not going to wait for you. 
because I don't want to, simply. My Aunt Rhonda says when you tell people, <laughs> I love my Aunt Rhonda, she's my grandma's sister, so she's old. But my Aunt Rhonda, if you ask her a question and she says no, let's say you're like, hey, do you wanna come over? And Aunt Rhonda doesn't wanna come, she'll say no. Oh, you thought you were getting an explanation? <laughs> she said, you don't, you, you, like, people aren't warranted a reason for your no. Just no. I personally think it comes off rude, so I can't do it. I tried it one day, and then I was like, oh, because. But when you really think about it, I don't have to give you an explanation. You want to come over to my house, and my answer is no. I don't really have to tell you why. It's my house, bro. But my Aunt Rana does not give explanations, and I think it's hilarious. I personally will because I'm just nice like that. Not that it's mean if you are the type of person that doesn't give an explanation, but it could come off kind of like, come on, bruh. Come on, bruh, bruh. Maybe I'll stop at Whole Foods and grab a little snack. So I'm walking up Kennesaw Mountain, but I'm literally leisurely walking up. I'm not making this like some stressful workout, and then I'm going to stop and do squats. I'm doing a walk. And I'm excited about it. I love when I have braids because when I have braids, then I don't care about working out. And that sounds really horrible. And I also feel like that's why I should shave my head because hair hinders black women from working out. Say what the fuck you want to say. When my, when I have my micro links in, I don't want to sweat it out. When I just got a fresh blowout, I'm not sweating it out. It's too expensive. When I have my hair braided, I can just work out, do all the sweaty activities. I'm really considering shaving my head. It just, I just feel like I would be, I would get my fittest if I just wasn't worried about hair. And I would probably save a lot of money because micro links, typically $8.50, but I get them done for $3.50. Um, a blowout, what? That's at least $100. Trims and maintenance? Jesus. I might shave my head, y'all. Y'all think I have the right type of head? for a shave I don't know we're gonna find out one day in the next five years <laughs> it is a beautiful day in Atlanta I need to book a grooming appointment for shy I got in so much trouble this morning and last night. Like, York, the thing about Yorkies is they don't fucking listen. Yorkies do not listen, and it it can be like a a, a really tough uphill battle with them. Shy be her fucking attitude sometimes. It's just like, and she only does it with me. Like when people watch her, she's the sweetest little princess dog. Every now and again with me, we go through this like every couple of months. She does some shit that it's like, stop. She knows she's not allowed on the couch. I also don't like putting her in the kennel. Um, because she she knows what she can and can't do. She's potty trained, unless she's having an attitude. So she can't sleep in my room because she has lost that privilege because she she messed up some things in my old apartment. And now that I have carpet, in my new apartment in the bedroom um she's not allowed in the bedroom like she can't sleep in the bedroom shy will do some shit like if she if you don't take her out when she wants to go out and not like a she just has to go outside if shy just wants to go outside and you don't take her she's pissing on something secretively like in the curtains or something so there's a lot of rules that we had to put in place with her badass anyways last night i sneak into the i didn't even sneak in i wanted some water she didn't hear me get up she's all sprawled out on the couch Ma'am, it's trying to hurry up and like to try to get down before I saw her. That's how I know you know you're not supposed to be up here. Then this morning I cracked the door because I had the patio door open and um, during my morning meditation, she creeps in, creeps in, cause she knows she's not allowed. It gets all the way to the corner of the back of the bed, of the back of the under part of the bed. And I'm like, Shy, get out, won't get out, showing her teeth at me. Y'all, I, ne I damn near killed Shy. Oh, I saw a man working out. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she's on punishment. So I put her in the camo before I left because I know that she is gonna try to prove a point. Like, yeah, let me show you how I'll jump up on your bed and pee on your pillows. She's done that before too. She's 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 she is a troubled dog. She's a rescue. So, and she's from Chicago. So. Ain't no telling what sis been through, but she can still get that ass beat. Okay guys, I made it to Kennesaw. I didn't realize that, okay, the Kennesaw Mountain is significantly different. Why is this coming undone? The Kennesaw Mountain, it's significantly different from um, Stone Mountain. Stone Mountain is like, you park and you can tell where everybody's going. But Kennesaw, I'm like, this looks like a real trail. Like you could possibly get lost if you aren't paying attention. I'm following these two girls. Confederate picket post. Everything always got to do with slavery. The Confederates, to prevent the main infantry line higher up the mountainside from being surprised, dug a series of rifle pits here across the base of the mountain, fighting from the pits. The first Alabama riding map. This attack was devised by Sherman. Wow, that's pretty cool. I'm already out of breath, y'all. Don't make fun of me. After getting back from um, Costa Rica, good morning. Good morning. When I see bugs here, I'm like, y'all don't know nothing about no bugs. The bugs in Costa Rica were out of this world. Hmm. I should have worn my trek shoes. I have some really cute trek shoes and hiking boots. But I did my uh, my Ivy Park fit remixed with my little pink Adidas. Ooh. Normally when I do these types of things, I have a friend with me. Doing it by yourself. I don't know why it feels harder. It's a real hike. All right, y'all. I'll see you when I get to the top. One mile up. Okay, so this is the top. The top of Kennesaw is so different from Stone Mountain. It doesn't have like a, it has a nice view, but you know, at Stone, well, I mean, Stone Mountain was man-made, so I guess that makes sense that it would be prettier because a man got to make it. I don't think this one is man-made. It just maybe out of the rails and stuff. I just did not know there was so much history here, like with the Civil War. I'm reading the little things like, dang, and they have like a, monument for like this the generals and stuff and i'm like y'all gonna even pay no homage to the black soldiers because this is the south but this is the top um, this is the top parking lot and then over there there's a view my favorite part was seeing the chipmunks along the way and I was trying to spot some birds because on the information thing it said that the bird sightings here at Kennesaw Mountain um, are really amazing and they have some of the most important birds. I don't know what makes the birds important but I wanted to see some. I'm gonna head back down. If you guys have never explored Kennesaw Mountain, you should. I'm gonna go down to the museum and see what the museum is talking about after I drink some water.
Just call my name and I'll be there. I'll be there to protect you with an unselfish love that respects you. This is the Mariah version. My name and I'll be there. Y'all never just feel like singing in the wilderness? That's how I feel right now. People are looking at me like, bitch, you really sing it. Should I ever find someone new? I know she better be good to you. Cause if she doesn't, I'll be there. You guys, it's game day. So I missed the last two kickball games because I was um, I was in Costa Rica, but I'm back and on time. My team don't be being on time. I actually invited my friend Crystal to play today because we, so when you play you have to have, I think six or seven guys and at least four women. And so some of the girls weren't coming. So I invited my friend Crystal to play today and this is about to be so funny because Crystal is not athletic. I was like, just come and get out the house. Stuff like this is fun to just like make yourself be active especially if you know you don't be being active um we're at piedmont today and suck my kicks we about to take over we're playing kick a lobe ultra <laughs> i love the names okay well i'll be back i'm gonna go see what teammates are here and who we gonna have to recruit y'all was just chilling i think you guys we actually have a team today <laughs> crystal's here say hey alex say hey hey kenny say hey Huh? Say hey. We're Hello here. This everybody. is Coach Kenny. Boy Eagle. <laughs> Welcome out here. Auburn won last night and hopefully we get a win right here. Hopefully we do all it. Right. Right, we got all my baby mamas out here. All right. <laughs> Aaron has his pink hair today. Yeah. That's giving us the power. Yeah. Deontay's over oh, there. Hey, Deontay. Where's DJ? They in traffic. Oh, they're oh, they all riding together. The late ones are on their way. Lonnie's over there looking warm. What's up? Drinking his Essentia, Essentia water. Jamal's over there probably making a YouTube video. What's up, Jamal? <laughs> you look warm too. Y'all prepared. Well, I'm like, I can't. I was like, I don't got no socks on. <laughs> I got shorts on. Hey. You smell good. Did he made it? The team mom made it. Sylvia! Yo, we're actually doing kind of good today. Go. Your hair like really good. <laughs> I got the second base. That is the best I've ever done. Girl, I got your t shirt too. Oh, you do? Yes. Y'all, I got my shirt. What size do you want? Medium. We go in and then out. You guys, I have hot yoga in, in exactly 49 minutes, and these niggas want me to take shots. The peer pressure is real. I'm not joking. Thank you so much. All right, y'all, just finished uh, kickball. Everybody went out for drinks. I didn't have a drink. Even though I just showed those shots, I snuck and put it in my cup of water because I'm headed to hot yoga. I have hot yoga in 30 minutes. And when you do hot yoga, you can't, you just, it's not one of those things where you can drunkenly do it. You'll be really sick. Or, or you might pass out because you're already like, you know, it's almost like a detox how much you sweat in there. So if I have anything other than water, like something that's gonna benefit my body, um, I'm not trying to be passing out. Ain't nobody trying to be passing out, do you feel me? So I slick like poured the shot in uh, only 11 minutes away in my cup of water. I love that I'm having such an interactive day. Like, 
Everybody was like, you're gonna play kickball. And, and we had a really good game, by the way. I know I'll always be talking shit about our kickball teams and that we're not good, but we, we didn't win. We did not win. However, we, um, we played really good and everybody has such great spirit, like team spirit, that it was so much fun. Uh, we didn't win though, like I said, but we did, we did like, I missed the past two games, but we did, we played really good and we got a lot further than I've seen us get. Like we at least got a couple home runs. The other team was just really professional. I was like, what y'all be doing? Like y'all do this for a living? My nigga. So now I'm off to go do some hot yoga. I feel good. I feel great. I'm on time. I'm not late. All right, y'all, I just finished hot yoga. You saw the sweat? You see the sweat? I love that part, even though it's hard. Oh, wait. <laughs> Hi. Y'all, let's take a picture real quick. Okay, Paradise on Vi and Vibe on three. One, two, three, Paradise. Paradise and Vibe. The family, yay! <laughs> we did it, y'all, okay, bye, y'all. <laughs> Until 